Hi guys, I'm Kate and this is Beans and this is Margaret. And we brought Margaret home yesterday evening from her foster mom and we're gonna see if she's a good match for Beans and me and my husband. So um, I didn't sleep much all night. <laughs> I'm a nervous wreck, but everybody else seems pretty good so far. And I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I'm implementing in this transition period to make sure that my new adopted dog is comfortable and doesn't develop behavior issues. If there are any behavior issues, we're gonna try to nip them in the bud. And so you're gonna see how I deal with all of these things as we go. She found the treats. So I like to set ground rules from day one, and I don't do anything confrontational, but I set up the situation so that there's less of a likelihood of any kind of conflict or anything like that. And in particular, I don't let my new dog on the furniture until I'm totally comfortable with her behavior. For example, if she turns out to be maybe a resource guarder of her people, that's gonna mean she might not have furniture access or we're going to have to structure it very carefully. So for now, she's just not gonna be on the furniture. She tried a couple of times and um, each time we just put her back on the floor and we gave her a little bed right next to the floor or right next to the couch. Meanwhile, we've got Beans who does get to have access to the couch. So this is the first time I left the two dogs home alone. It's day two, and we're gonna see what we've got when I get home. They've been alone for maybe an hour and a half. Hi, Jobbers. Hi. This one. Oh, and there's the other one. She didn't escape. Hi, girls. Hi. Okay. It looks like we have our calm that looks like it got eaten. Crate looks good. PB pad is intact. No accidents. I think we have a winner. This is our nighttime setup. So you can see we've got her in the bedroom and she's got her little crate with the door open. We kind of smushed some stuff next to the bed so she can't squeeze the, uh, the fence too far to escape. And she's got her little fence here and we're using, gotta use the weights for something. So we're using it to keep the dog in the pen. She's got a little water. She has her pee pee pad. We were told that she also goes potty on um, newspaper, although I haven't confirmed that yet. Here's a few more quick tips. First, don't overdo it. Your dog is really overwhelmed right now. What you really want to be doing is building trust with your dog so that they feel comfortable with you and comfortable in your home. Similarly, you should be creating a calm environment. You don't necessarily need to be going to the dog park right away or meeting all of your friends and family. That can come later. Finally, focus more on management than training. 
That means that training can come later. For now, just set your dog up so that he's not going to make bad decisions. This is just the tip of the iceberg, so to see where to go from here, check out my next video from days 3 to 10.